If we look at this diagram, uh, one ball is moving to the left and hit the wall, hitting on the wall. Okay, so it hits on the wall and traveling at a velocity of seven meter per second. Seven meter per second to the wall, uh, but there's a problem here because uh, there is a uh, seven meter per second is going to the left, indicated by the blue arrow. But there's also uh, the ball bouncing back at opposite direction, which is uh, four meter per second opposite to seven meter per second previously. So what we are having here is a situation of uh, vector quantity. We need to identify this velocity as vector quantity, both having magnitude, which is value, and also direction. Vector quantity, if you can recall, is actually uh, physics quantity which has uh, value as well as direction. So this value and direction help us to differentiate uh, what is going to the left and what's, what is going to the right. So here, you need to define uh, one of them to be negative. So what I'll do is uh, I'll go to the left as negative. So I'll call this u equals to negative 7. This v, I'll call it positive 4. This will help me to find the impulse. Let's say they ask you to find the impulsive force. Okay? Let's say if they don't want you to find impulsive force, they just want you to find the impulse. Are you able to find the final answer for this? Impulse. Okay? Impulse should be spelled as uh, this one. Impulse. So impulse equals so ft but sometimes we don't really have to use ft all the time we can actually use mv minus mu is enough so this impulse we straight away use here impulse arrow mv minus mu so this 2 kg is given you can factorize the m and uh, v minus u is what we call positive 4 minus minus 7 okay so you will get a 2 4 plus 7 11 so in the final answer it should be 22. In the final answer should be 22 meter per second. Okay. So what I want to repeat is, uh, you see, when you calculate this, you take uh, you take the velocity, final velocity, as positive. Always take the final velocity as positive. This will help you to calculate things easily. When you take final velocity as positive. you take initial velocity as negative so that the minus minus part here if you look carefully here the one I put with double arrow will help you to get a positive answer okay